Hey everyone, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into Divine Masculine and Divine Masculine's karmic, okay? So remember that this could play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? Um, this is a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? I have personals available. The link for that is down below in the description box. Also, um, you can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I want to say thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's greatly appreciated, okay? Let's go ahead and delve into Divine Masculine's energy first and foremost. Please and thank you. Okay, Queen of Cups. Wow. I feel like this masculine energy is focused on a feminine energy you could be a water sign watching this you could be a feminine watching this um to see what the masculine is doing like a cross watcher smash that like button if that's you this masculine is focused on somebody that is a lot more poised okay when it comes to their emotions king of swords This masculine is coming in as an air sign, sun, moon, or rising. Um, this person could really be focused on this karmic, but this person isn't coming out as a karmic. What else? Mm, Knight of Pentacles. So, now that we've established that this isn't a karmic, this is the... A feminine energy that this masculine is focused on, okay? This masculine is focused on offering stability to this feminine. But so far, they haven't shown any type of emotional um, support to this feminine. Okay? Yeah, with the strength card. This masculine could be um, wanting to pursue a fire sign. This masculine could be an earth, air or water sign, sun, moon, or rising, okay? And like I said, I see Leo. I do see this person reaching out to you. It seems more about like this person is focused on the watcher here. Mm, six of cups, someone from their past. That's who this masculine is focused on, okay? So let's see. Uh, you all disregard my dog in the background snoring, okay? For those of you all that's new to this channel, you may not know about my bulldog. He snores in the background, my bad. Okay, so um, let's delve into this karmic's energy. What's this karmic's energy? So, so far, this masculine isn't really focused on this karmic at all. They're focused on a situation from their past. Meanwhile, the karmic is focused on the connection quite a bit. Okay, the karmic thinks everything is fine. Nothing is going on. Knight of Cups. It could have been that the karmic and the masculine could have recently got into it or something. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like they just kind of made up with the strength card here and the world card in reverse. It's saying that um, they probably both had to compromise or this karmic had to compromise or this masculine had to compromise. Somebody here had to compromise. I'm really getting that it's the karmic though, because it's like this karmic had to compromise for this four one. So it's like something happens between this masculine and this karmic. This karmic is focused on the relationship between them and this divine masculine. While the divine masculine is focused on someone from their past. Okay? I feel like the karmic is being very patient right now with this masculine. Yeah, with the four swords, it's like this karmic isn't really saying much. Okay? It's like... They broke bread, they calmed the situation down with this masculine, pursued them, and now they're taking a rest. With the Seven of Pentacles here, this person is being patient. They're waiting it out, okay? Waiting to come out of the doghouse, so to speak. With the Ten of Cups, this masculine could have a family with this karmic, okay? Let's get the overall energy between this masculine and this karmic, please and thank you. Eight of Pentacles. So this masculine is actively dealing with this karmic still. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take in a situation. They're playing their part and the karmic is playing their part. The world card in reverse. 
there is still unfinished business between the two of them. The bottom deck is the seven of swords. Both of them could be being sneaky, right? Because this masculine is thinking about a feminine energy other than this karmic. While the karmic focuses on the relationship, it's like they both have lessons here to learn, right? With the king of pentacles here. Masculine could be a, a um earth sign, okay? It's like as long as this masculine um ha handles their financial obligations, the karmic is fine with that. With the eight of wands here and the hangman, it's like the information that's come in. It's like, oh, okay, you got the direct deposit. All right, I'm fine with that. It's like this karmic just wants to make sure. See, they're even waiting for this direct deposit as well. That's what I see here too. Look, it's like this karmic is just waiting around so they could wake up and go on and get some money out the bank. Okay. It's almost like they're kissing this masculine's ass just so that they could go back to being comfortable. Okay, so this is one of my uh, decks, Karmic Clarity Volume 1. It's available for purchase. The link is down below in the description box. I want to thank everyone that has supported me thus far with purchasing decks. It is greatly appreciated. Well, I wanted to show itself is reading old messages. Wow. I feel like this karmic, see, they're angry at Divine Masculine. And broke as hell. I told you this karmic was waiting for some money. Waiting on a direct deposit here. And it's like the only reason why they kissed this masculine's ass emotionally. See, this is a cup. So this person probably cried and, you know, did the most. Laid it on this masculine thick. Just so that they could go relax after that and wait to go in this bank account. What is this masculine's energy towards the karmic? Wants to fight. This masculine may feel as though the karmic wants to fight um, this divine feminine. Craving attention. Because they're craving attention. Because this masculine is kind of um, not showing this karmic any emotion we just see this nine of pentacles energy but at the same time the masculine is focused on the past they want to give this stability really to this past feminine energy yeah the masculine knows that the karmic is angry at them right now they're aware of whatever argument they had because this karmic it's it's to say that this karmic has already made amends with this masculine so to speak Okay, so there is no room to be like, oh, the masculine was single. No, the masculine is still dealing with this karmic. Okay, it's still a lesson for the both of them to be learning with the seven of swords energy. That's why they're still dealing with each other. Because there is still a lesson here to be learned between the two of them. The masculine, it could be break something off all the way if you're going to pursue someone else. And the karmic, get a job. Here we have got a reading done on Divine Masculine. This masculine could have gotten a reading done um, on themselves. Okay. And this reading could have revealed that this karmic has gotten a reading on them as well before. I'm not a secret. Very toxic. This reading could have revealed that the karmic is going to want to fight this divine feminine or um confront this divine feminine if they find out through a reading perhaps right i'm not a secret and made them block you so if you're a divine feminine watching this then if you haven't talked to this divine masculine it's because of the karmic karmic made them block you what is the karmic's energy right now to this masculine busted windows so this karmic could have got mad at this masculine and went and vandalized some of their property because this masculine is kind of materialistic okay but also a hard worker also a provider and it's like this karmic went and busted their windows out 
damage something, vandalize something in their home. In my dreams, this karmic um, envisions this masculine coming and sweeping them off the feet, off their feet, you know, really pursuing them. But at the same time, it's like they have to go kiss this masculine's ass because what they did. Divine masculine is mine. There's an energy here of this karmic uh, not worried about anything, right? They're taking this relaxed because they're like, okay, I had to kiss their ass. I had to pursue them. I had to get them back where I need them to be. Get this masculine back where I need this masculine to be, right? And now that the work is done, I can sit back and, you know, it was all worth it, right? Because now I get to go reap the benefits. I go get to go get some money, right? Missing someone. Wow. But there is still an energy here of the karmic still missing this masculine. We can tell that there is a disconnect with, between the two of them emotionally. It says brings up your name. If you're a feminine, the divine feminine watching this, the karmic brings up your name. It could even be the karmic that's causing this masculine to really think back on you. And now that they're arguing so much with the karmic over you again, it makes this masculine remember how things were between the two of you. What is the mutual energy between the karmic and the masculine? Willing to compete. So don't let this masculine fool you, divine feminine. This masculine is still willing to compete with others over this karmic. Okay, as soon as this karmic gets to doing them, then this masculine is going to have a problem and they're going to come and pursue this karmic and vice versa. Two-Face. Know that this masculine and this karmic both go behind each other backs. They compete with each other. They cheat on each other. See who can hurt each other the most. What popped out is not satisfied. Neither one of them are satisfied with themselves, with each other. Quite frankly, I don't know how much this masculine really can offer with this karmic sucking them dry. Both of them aren't satisfied in the relationship, okay? And they're not satisfied within themselves either to even move on. It's like a toxic settling energy. See, all they do is go talk shit. And this masculine may just bring you in the middle of this divine fam. Be mindful, see, with divine masculine. Right now, that's where this karmic is. And they're hangry. So this masculine is probably going to go take this person out to eat. Okay? So if you were wondering how their connection is, you know, it's like that type of energy. They still go out. They still do things. What's this masculine's energy towards the divine feminine? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. <sighs> this masculine is coming towards this divine feminine without releasing their ex. They're feeling some type of baggage when coming towards this feminine. See, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. But at the same time, they haven't released their ex. What is the energy of this masculine towards the karmic? children they have children together they have some type of family dynamic it says your love life is being affected by children what else wedding this situation involves marriage so for some of you all um this masculine is married to this karmic and you may not be aware of that mutual energy for the masculine is deception Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. That's what I'm saying. This masculine is still sneaky, okay? If you were wondering, Divine Femme, if this masculine was dealing with this karmic, still smash your like button, okay? Because they are. For the karmic, their feelings towards this divine masculine, flirt. Expand your lighthearted energy to others. So this karmic knows exactly what to do to flirt with this masculine, right? To get them where they want them, right? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel as though um, there is a lesson here. And 
right now, this karmic, they're flirting with this masculine and they're getting what it is that they want, okay? Hmm. There is some type of illusion here with the worth waiting for. Let me get one more. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. See, it's like some sexual energy between this masculine and this karmic. It's like, okay, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to tease you. I'm going to do this, that, and the next. Being this lighthearted energy. And then you're going to come and pursue me. And then we're going to repeat this cycle over and over again. Right? Keep an open mind. That's what this karmic is doing. Your soulmate may differ from differ from your usual type and expectations. This karmic is like, well, shit, maybe this masculine is my person, right? Because I can keep getting them where I want them to be because they always come back. What's the mutual energy between the masculine and this karmic? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This masculine and this karmic, despite coming back with this feminine energy, um, may still be messing around. And they may be kind of having fun, too. See? Stay optimistic about your love life. They completely haven't ended things with each other. And ever so often, they rebuild a bond some type of way, right? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It's like they just have fun together, right? but they don't have any trust. You see this trust in reverse? But the masculine and the karmic lack trust between each other. If this is a scenario where the karmic knows the divine feminine or knows of the divine feminine, what is their energy? What do they feel like is their energy between the masculine and the feminine? Free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. Take back control of your life. It's like they feel like this masculine is pushing this feminine away. Soulmate. They feel like um, they're really the soulmate to this masculine. Because they made the masculine block you. They made the masculine push the feminine away. See, religious factors. But all of this is in divine timing, right? Divine lessons at hand. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringings and spiritual path. So there's an energy of everyone here, maybe even including you, Divine Femme. Um, you can check out the Divine Feminine read um, that was just before this video. I'll go ahead and tag it in the description box if you're a Divine Feminine and you want to know what are the things that are you learning in your spiritual path right now? Because everyone here is learning a spiritual lesson, okay? And I feel like the divine is not about to let you be dragged into this situation because they have their own karma, okay? And yours is separate. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you like this view a lot better, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one and... um. Let me know if it resonated and if you like this type of, you know, kind of third party karmic type of read, smash that like button. As always, thank you for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.